Hello everyone and welcome to the Alex Siberia Designs YouTube channel. Today I am introducing the Sunrays Hot Foil Plate and Layering Stencil Set. These work perfectly on their own but they are so gorgeous when you combine them. This is the Sunrays Hot Foil Plate. It is a very large plate. It still fits on your glimmering machine, no problem. But it is quite a bit larger than A2 size, so it's perfect to give you a little bit of wriggle, wiggle room if you need it and to maybe offset that center if you want that for your design. I like to tape everything down when I'm hot foiling. You don't have to do this. This is just my process and I tape the foil down and then the hot foil plate. Once that is done, I am going to flip everything around so the hot foil plate is touching my glimmering machine and that is going to heat up for a bit. Once that has rolled through my die cutting machine, you are going to see the most fabulous result. It is always fun to peel away that foil. I did have a little bit of overfoiling on this run through. I left it in the video because this is clear overfoiling because I let it heat up a little bit too long because I can easily rub it away with either my fingers or a dry cloth like I'm doing here. If you have too much pressure in your machine, you are going to need a sand eraser to get rid of any overfoiling. But it's usually pretty easy to do. And there you can see the gorgeous result I got from this Sunrays hot foil plate. There is a coordinating stencil set, like I mentioned before. Again, you can use this on its own and it will give you a really fun result. But with the hot foil plate, you just get a little bit of shimmer and glimmer in there. And obviously that is always fun. There are four layers in this layering stencil set and even though this is an introduction video, I am going to use these a little bit out of order. You don't have to adhere to the order of the stencils. However, they are clearly marked on the top left corner there so you can easily see which stencil goes first or which one coordinates with the first stencil on the back of the packaging because the back of the packaging clearly shows you uh, which stencil colors which stripes and you can also see that the final stencil layer the fourth one colors a lot more stripes than the other ones that one colors uh, every other stripe in this design so it's basically going to act as your background color that is the final stencil layer in the order on the packaging however i'm going to use it as my third stencil today why? Because I did want to add one of the accent colors I wanted to use some paste for. And I always like to use my paste when I'm using layering stencils as my final layer because there is a little bit of a dimensional difference when you're using paste. So you're going to get a dimensional result if you use paste. And you don't want to do that before you have added your final layer because you are not going to be able to line that final layer up perfectly if your third layer, for example, was some paste. So this is, yes, the fourth layering stencil. This is the background color. I chose a very dark purple for it. And that's what I love about this stencil. You don't have to color everything in. This already looks good with a little bit of white showing through. I think a lot of people are going to skip that fourth stencil if they want to get a different look because uh, it's, it's just a really fun look without that fourth stencil as well. Or just use that fourth stencil on its own. Layering stencils are perfect when they're in backgrounds because you can just switch it up to your heart's content. Like I said, I am going to use a little bit of paste here. This is some gold glitter paste and together with that hot foil gold that I already have going on, this card is going to be quite sparkly. This is definitely going to be one of those backgrounds that just is your entire card. You don't need to add much to this. This is a very, very fun background product. You can switch it up as much as you want and get a fun background every time. Like I said with that glitter paste, this is definitely 
definitely a really, really sparkling card and I love it. All I'm going to do is add a sentiment to it once I have trimmed this panel down a bit. I'm just going to show you the finished result here. Like I said, a very sparkling card and I love how it turned out. Uh, you can add any sentiment you want to this. This is a background that goes for any occasion, but it's also perfect for summary cards like I'm going to show you here. This one, I just used ink on all four layers of the stencil. This is the reverse hot foiling, so this doesn't have the stencil layering in it at all. And this one has some hot foiling and all of the stencils except the fourth one. So you can switch it up, get a lot of different looks from these fun products. And I hope you check them out. You can find them all in the links down below. And I hope to see you next time. Enjoy the new release.